how to dress better without spending all of your money. I'm going to give you guys some of my favorite tips on how I elevated my wardrobe even when I didn't have that much money. If you're new here, hey, I'm Aisha and I've been thrifting since I was about 15 years old. So yeah, I think I know a little something something when it comes to looking good on a budget. Go ahead and save this post so you'll never forget it. Follow women who have a similar shape, similar hair, similar bone structure, anything that you're trying to elevate in your life, whether it be your hair, your makeup, your wardrobe. Follow women who are able to inspire Get you. Get rid of clothes that you know you are not going to wear or you just know that don't make you feel good. Invest in your accessories. I tell everybody this because you can wear the same jewelry, purses, shoes every day if you want to. Before adding new pieces into your wardrobe, create a Pinterest board. Pinterest boards just kind of help me keep my mind focused on what it is that I actually want for my wardrobe. Because sometimes the stores will trick us into thinking we need everything. You don't. I know y'all act like y'all scared of colors and prints, but I promise you the way that you're able to now color block and mix your prints. You can't do that if everything in your closet is brown, black, white, and gray. I mean, you can, but it's all essentially going to look the same. Gradually add in small bits and pieces of colors. Do some neons, some pops. Neutral tones with pops of neons is a chef's kiss. Y'all know how everyone says Rihanna makes everything look good? I tell everyone that 85% of your outfit is your hair and your makeup. Your hair is done and you're feeling good. You're looking good. Your outfit is automatically going to look that much better. It does not matter what you have on. Pay very close attention to the shape of the clothing that you're looking to buy. Look in your closet. Think about all the pieces that you absolutely love the way they look on you and write down what about those clothing items make you love them. Is it the shape, the fabric? Does it fit form fitting? Is it loose fitting? Write all of those things down because that's going to help you better shop to build your dream wardrobe and to ultimately dress better for yourself. A good tailor can almost fix anything that you don't find flattering on yourself. For me, I have a short torso. So a lot of things give me like a bulgy effect if the pants are too long or the waist area is just not measured correctly to my waistline. Support your local seamstresses. In this economy, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love the extra work. Girl, change the buttons on those shirts. Sometimes it's not the shirt, it's the cheap looking buttons. If you just switch out the buttons, that top can go from looking like it's $2 to $200. You want to go for buttons that are more like metal or have a bone coloring or even a pearl. These are ones that's just going to make you look like money, honey. The structured pieces will have you looking like money every time as well. Instead of going for just a regular plain, you know, basic t-shirt, get one that has shoulder pads in there. And if you don't have shoulder pads, baby, I got them for you on Amazon as well. Adding anything to build that structure for you. So like adding a waist belt, taking a brooch and like folding your collar in. Learning how to drape your clothing and just adding a little brooch will definitely save almost any outfit. And more style hacks are coming. I really just had to remind y'all that it's not how much money you can spend, but it's how much imagination you have.